hey guys it's laura and welcome back or welcome to my channel today i have a journal with me video um borderlands was released i believe it was last friday yeah it was last friday and we didn't go see it on opening night but me and my youngest daughter went on sunday to see it so i have our tickets from the movie theaters and of course i had to go on pinterest and get some printouts um i did take a picture at the beginning of the movie but i completely forgot to print it and if you hear anything in the background i do apologize um this video was filled of background noise because of my son and the voiceover may as well but i thought maybe i might be lucky and you won't be able to hear it <laughs> so here i am just um i pre-prepped these images i cut them out and then i added some double-sided tape on the back so i'm just taking the paper off from that and adding that to my journal i used to use a lot of the elmer's glue but i haven't really been using it recently because what i've noticed is that it's warping my pages i don't know why um so i've been using a double-sided tape and then this glue is sitting on my table um i believe the name is beacon it's like advanced craft glue and it is a liquid glue but it doesn't warp my pages and i don't have to worry about any of anything coming up so here I'm just adding the tickets that I had. Um, they don't even like, like you can clearly see, well, you might not be able to see it in the video, but there's like um, a perforated line down the middle where they're supposed to take half of the ticket. They don't even do that anymore. They just look at the ticket and tell you which um, room basically you need to go to. So, and then I'm trying to decide what washi tape I want to put down. I did pull some that I thought would go with the pictures that I had because here we have Lilith and Tiny Tina and then just a picture of them all. There was a lot of bad reviews about this movie and I can see why because they cast Kevin Hart as Roland and it doesn't really follow the the movie. I mean, I'm sorry, the movie, the game line and I get that but I don't know. I, I feel like me and my daughter like really enjoyed this movie. Um, the special effects were top notch and the acting was pretty good now jamie lee curtis i love jamie lee curtis she played as the i cannot think of her name was the the smart one and while her acting was on point it was like great it's just i feel like her character wasn't the same character that was in the borderlands game but it's okay like i said i'm not i'm not upset with it i guess i'm not a die hard hardcore borderlands player or whatever and then here i had printed out one picture and it literally had like all of the <clears throat> the um the main characters of the movie and then i just cut them apart into little small pictures and i'm adding them to the corner well the the edges of the page basically um and it, again I, I i don't understand why some of the reviews well most of the reviews are like really really bad Kevin Hart was was not horrible at all. I was upset when I heard that he was playing as Roland, considering who Roland is is in the game, and the game does have its comedy moments, but it is not a comedy. So hearing that Kevin Hart was going to play as Roland, I was like, this is not supposed to be a comedy movie. There's supposed to be points of you know fun and laughter and comedy, but not the entire movie. But it was not, and he actually did a really good job. I think he had a good balance between comedy and being like serious so here i'm adding i think i also put some of that double-sided tape here as well yeah i did i think i put on the edges of all these little smaller pictures and this is almost in real time i did speed it up a little bit but not much i think total time for me to do these pages and I think it's only three pages it took about 17 minutes but then again I'm the kind of person where I kind of want everything to be straight I want everything to be perfect and then when I do something I, I, I start thinking about what else I can do <laughs> and instead of going in with the washi tape this time I went in with some of these um they're called art smith and they're water-based dual tip markers that I got on sale from I think it was Joanne's about a year ago and I'm just putting some little dashes, dashes around the border oh excuse me if you hear me I'm drinking water I apologize 
then we move on to the next page that day we also went to five below and even though my daughter is 15 years old she still loves the my littlest pet shop or the little pets that she goes tap 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 with sometimes i can't complain because i'm i'm really into like miniatures and stuff now as well but we found this barista cart and it's like a little cart it's got all kind of little things including the the coffee cups the table the cart that actual moves and then like the cash register and little cash and all that good stuff so basically it came in a box and i cut a I cut apart the box and then it had this pretty brown backing paper on the inside of the box and so i just decided to tear some of that up because it was brown like coffee um and make this page so here i'm just using that glue that um beacon advanced craft glue that's what I'm using to put that down because it's it's a little bit thicker than your normal scrapbook paper. So I wanted to make sure that it adhered to the page well. And the beacon glue is it says it's a three in one and it's, and it's supposed to be because it's crystal clear, which it is. It instantly grabs and it's a fast dry glue. I can attest to all of that. I've used this for like, I think the last two years, maybe three years on my um Halloween and then Christmas crafts and Valentine's Day crafts because I usually do like cards for all those holidays for my daughter's teachers it's really great it will it is on the expensive side I think it's like four to nine it's like five dollars a bottle but it's a pretty big bottle and I, it's not the only glue that I use here I'm gluing down like a coffee bean border that was also on the box i was hoping it would have been more than just that one area but i was able to salvage it so i'm not i'm not angry about it and i think here i am putting glue on the actual label that was on the top of the box and i'm putting it i don't know if you can see it but my pages have like the date thing at the top I normally don't care if I cover it up, but some of them I actually do want to keep so that way I can use them. And I was trying to make sure it was centered so that way I would be able to put the date on the right there and then put the day on the left. And now I'm cutting off the excess of the borders that I put down because they were a little bit longer than my, my pages. I think I do it on the other side as well, I think. Yeah, because it tried to glue itself. There, I'm just trimming that up. Making sure it's adhered. The same for the top here. And then I flip back just to go through our pages. And there's the first page. And there you are. I want to say thank you so much for watching.